Class System External Corner The ventilated facade is installed in the same way as shown in the Assembly Frontec Plus System video. The last column of pieces on the corner must project out a distance that will vary depending on each project. The last T-profile is to be placed a distance greater than 10 cm from the end of the brick wall. Once all the T-profiles are anchored, placement of pieces can begin. A double clamp is screwed and a line of polyurethane filler is applied on the T-profile. External corner pieces will require a 45 degree mitre cut on their short side. The front egg piece is then fixed in place. Lastly, two double clamps are placed on the upper cleft of the front egg piece. The pieces that form the external corner have the same space between them as any other vertical joint in the system. The brackets will be the elements that, with their different flange depths, will move the piece away from the bearing wall according to the thermal insulation requirements of each particular project. The maximum distance between the profile flange and the end of the bracket flange must not exceed 10 mm. Ensure that the depth of the bracket web allows at least 30 mm of air chamber. The same procedure will be followed with the upper rows until the facade is completed. Plus system internal corner. The ventilated facade is installed in the same way as shown in the assembly front egg plus system video. The last column of pieces must maintain a distance from the perpendicular wall that will also have the same depth as the ventilated facade. The distance will vary according to each project and will be achieved with brackets of different depths. The last T-profile will be placed at a distance from the end of the brick wall, equal to or greater than the facade outlet indicated in each project to give continuity to the air chamber. Once all the T-profiles are anchored, placement of pieces can begin. A double clamp is screwed and a line of polyurethane filler is applied on the T-profile. The front egg piece is then fixed in place. Lastly, two double clamps are placed on the upper cleft of the front egg piece. The pieces that form the internal corner will maintain the same vertical joint that is used in the system without the need for mitre cuts or additional auxiliary elements. One of the two pieces could go through the perpendicular air chamber as long as it allows the continuity of it. The same procedure will be followed with the upper rows until the facade is completed.